Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see a comparison between Citadel Plastic Glue and the Tamiya Cement. It's time to say goodbye to the Citadel Plastic Glue and replace it with my new favourite hobby product, the Tamiya Cement. In this video, I'll do a comparison between the two glues and show you why I think Tamiya is really great for the hobby. This video isn't sponsored or anything, I just really like the product and it's really helped me so I wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it's going to help you and your hobby too. And the first time I used it was on the Tyranids Combat Patrol and it made it a breeze putting together all these Termagants and the Warriors and the Wing Hive, Hive Tyrant as well. It made it really easy to do and I started off using the Citadel but quickly switched to that brush to speed things up and it worked a treat. So let's get started with a couple of quick demos showing the two glues in action. We've got the Citadel Plastic Glue, 0.7 fluid ounces or 20 grams, which is also 20 mil. And then the Tamiya Cement, which is double that in a 40 mil jar. I've got my Commissar ready to assemble, being trimmed from the sprue. So let's glue them together using both of the glues. And we'll start off with the Citadel. Now I've been using this, I've done what, 800 models with it so far. And I, you know, it's no problem. But it is quite a slow process, especially when you get further into the bottle and there's not so much glue there. I find I have to like tap it to get some out of the applicator and then it, you know, it's going to come out sometimes a little bit heavier than others if you squeeze it too much. But you soon get used to that and it's very good for precision and things like that. And you can see here, you know, you just go around this line, no problem. So, you know, it works fine. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But um, I think this Tamiya is just amazing in the speed it gives you when you're putting together your models. But there we go. There's the Citadel. So now let's move over to the Tamiya. Now this is in the jar. Nice heavy jar. So it's really stable on the tabletop. And it's got this brush in here, which is really great because it just makes everything so much faster. You've got the glue ready immediately. You don't have to tap it or wait for it to come out of that precision applicator and then you can right away just pop it back in the jar it's got a nice good size so the brush goes right in there and then you can easily grab it again wipe a little bit off from the side and then you're good to go so really quick and you can get through a load of models in no time I slipped a little bit there but there we go that's on and that's going to be set in nice and secure I found it works really well when you've got to do maybe two or three little dobs of glue at the same time you can just quickly go all around the model and that brush is going to hold a fair amount of glue and it's going to allow you to do that. So you can just pick up the pieces, stick them on. It really does set fast as well. So that's great. It bonds really quickly. And now a little bit more. Just want to put the head on. So really fast, not having to wait for that glue to come out. And so, yeah, a lot quicker than the Citadel plastic glue. Let's do some panels on the Torx now. And I think this is good where the precision applicator comes in. You can run little beads of glue really thinly along here and get in little hard to reach spaces. And so, yeah, for doing little bits like that, it's no problem. You, know, you, you have to not shake too much though to get it along that line. But with the Tamiya, you can do large areas by using the side of the brush and just run it along like this and you're covering all that area super fast so you can see it's much quicker we've done a, I don't know six times as much area in almost the same time of application and so we can stick that on there and that's gonna again bond really quickly and so we're good to go a couple of days ago I started my 6,000 point Astra Militarum army build and I'll be posting part two of that series to show you how far I've got but this glue really helped me get through a lot of the tanks a lot quicker. I've built the Torux, I've built the Wyvern, loads of other tanks are done. I've built the Sentinels and also got started on some of the models, including that Commissar that we just did earlier on in the video and Gaunt's Ghosts as well. So with these, it made it really easy too. Comparing the two glues, they both work great. The precision applicator is going to come in handy where maybe the brush is too big, but there are some other options from Tamiya that I want to try next. And some of you have recommended that on the channel. So thanks so much. But one of the big things about Tamiya as well is the price. You get twice as much and it's cheaper. So let's go and look at the prices. Here we are at Element Games and that Citadel glue is £4 for 20 mil, whereas the Tamiya is 2 69 for 40 mil. So you get twice as much and the glass jar as well 
and the brush, so I think it's a real bargain. I'll be trying the extra thin from Tamiya next, and that's the same amount, 40ml, a little bit more, so you're paying a little bit more money. But the glue is going to be a little bit thinner, and it's going to come with a pointed applicator to make it easy to apply. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. I'll put links to Element Games and Wayland Games, because they've both got different items in stock, and the price is around the same price. Uh, you've also got different versions and brand in there as well. And Wayland Games have also got another one, extra thin cement that's quick set. So that might be a good one to try as well. From building that army of Tyranids and then getting through a load of Astra Militarum over the last couple of days, I really love Tamiya cement. I think it's perfect. It's much better than the Citadel plastic. And to get twice as much for a cheaper price, I think is awesome. So it's goodbye Citadel plastic glue and hello Tamiya. If you'd like to follow along with my Astra Militarum army build, it'd be great to see you. So this video will be linked at the end of the video. And also I'll be putting up part two of the series where I go through how I plan the army. Thanks for watching and I hope you found the video helpful. And if you've got any tips about glues that you think are good to try, then um, let me know in the comment section below. Any tips as well, that'd be awesome. So thanks again for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.